Hey guys, Chris here from Infinity Flux Games again, doing another unboxing. Uh, this is a brand new one from Richard Borg's uh, company, PSC, uh, Plastic Soldier Company, uh, called Red Alert Space Fleet Warfare. So not to be mistaken with the Red Alert uh, video games. Uh, this one is a new game from them that has, it's basically space combat, lots of ships, lots of stuff. And as you can see here, this is everything you get with the... Uh, Kickstarter uh, standard version. Um, that's none of the optional buys, but it does come with, this is what it comes with if you just back the Kickstarter. Uh, other than that, I guess uh, we will get started on unboxing this one. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Again, with my trusty knife, and let's get going. Let me get the, this out of the way. And here is the main game. Uh, it comes with 92 plastic starships in it. Uh, it comes with a really cool playmat design that I've seen that uh, this one I think is going to be really nice um, and all your other stuff. So let's get going. Pretty hefty box here. So that's nice. Uh, definitely feels like it's made well. There you go. Uh, first thing we've got here is we've got the rule book. Um, this one here, it uh, feels really nice. If you look, it's all color. Um, I know there's, I've already kind of looked at it before uh, online, but it comes with scenarios. It comes with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything. Uh, not, just, not, just, not just rules of play, but the actual like step-by-step -step examples on how it all works. Um, as you can see with plenty of diagrams, stuff like that, as you play as either the uh, Commonwealth or the, um, like the, oh gosh, who are they called again? The uh, Commonwealth or, anyways, the Renegades or whatever. And then here is what looks like, to be honest, I don't even know what these are for, but they're probably to keep your stuff on, roll your dice or cards, probably keep your stuff hidden. Um, then you've got your cheat sheets. These are gonna be like your sheets to just give you all your information that you need uh, while you're playing. Um, and then of course, your your uh, cardboard. This is like your train. Uh, pretty, pretty decent quality here. Uh, definitely pretty heavy duty. Uh, if you wanna take a look at that there. Uh, you get, gosh, you get quite a few of them, as you can see here. I'll kind of show them. So you've got, you know, just because I don't want to mess with opening them all right now. So as you can see, there are lots of different terrain pieces, uh, lots of, like, rubble, all the tokens that you're going to need to represent your different things. So there's that. Then you've got, of course, dice. What good a board game would, would not have some big chunky dice with it? If I can open the baggie here. So this one here, it has, these are, uh, what's cool about them is these are, and I already checked them out before, but if you notice, if you can take a look at the detail, I don't know if you can see it real well on there, but if you notice those aren't stickers, that's actually like imprinted on it, which means it's not gonna wear off very easy. Uh, you'd probably have to like, I don't know, throw it on concrete to really mess it up. Uh, they feel pretty hefty. Um, they roll pretty solidly. Um, so you get, what, a dozen of those in black, um, which I know there is there is a Kickstarter that uh, or expansion for it that gives you more. But yeah, uh, with his Command and Color system, obviously you can see where that, if you're familiar with his Command and Con Color system, such as Memoir 44 and some other games that he has. Um, so anyways, those are the dice. Then we've got the play map. We'll go after that next. Now the play mat here is really cool because it's like a nylon type cloth from what I've heard. Time to break out the knife again. And again, remember, always cut towards yourself. That way you don't injure anybody else. So this one here, as you can see, this is a cloth material. Now what's really neat is this definitely gives you, one, one of the things I really like about this design if it was a board that folded like six different ways, you're gonna wear it out over time. It's gonna get torn, it's gonna get ripped. This here, you're not gonna have that problem because it's cloth. 
So as long as you make sure and you lay it out flat, also just to let you guys know real quick here, I'll let you see, it is single sided. But, that is a big play area. Like I am covering up stuff. I'm gonna try to, so it's definitely got a lot of room on it. Um, so it is going to be a rather large game, I guess. Like I said, as soon as I get a chance, I will play it. Um, but yeah, this is the mat for it. And then as you can see, the terrain pieces fit quite nicely on the, in the hexes. Um, see if I can get one on here for you real quick. Yeah. See, like. Ooh, they are double-sided. So see, you've got like rubble and stuff, so. And then uh, your ships will fit in there, the bases, obviously, so. But that's the play mat. I, I like the idea of it because if it was this big, normally it'd have to be two or three different boards that fold it up, and those are gonna get worn out. Like this one, I can throw it in the bag, wad it up, whatnot, and it's really not gonna hurt it. Next thing we've got, cards so here nice thing they gave us the little pull tabs so but yeah this is uh, eh. there you go so as you can see I really like the artwork on these, these are all your command cards for the game. Uh, That's your maneuvers, your abilities, stuff like that. That's gonna definitely let you have lots of stuff that you can do. Um, it's also, I know where they have in here, like your fleet designs. Uh, these are pretty standard, like here's a fleet. Here's like a task force, so it shows you what you get. So that's way, that way you have uh, your points for each ship. Because um, I know in the game they said basically you're going to have a fleet card that gives you your task force and then you get to have like something like 40 points to add more ships to your fleet. So I think that's going to be neat that you kind of have a standard fleet and then you get to modify it to make your own uh, in addition. Because like here's another different task force card. Um, the cards now themselves, speaking of material, is they're pretty standard, um, think of like Magic the Gathering or any other of those collectible card games. They're not like uh, linen finished or anything, so probably going to be sleeving these myself just because with it being a Command and Colors game, you're going to end up shuffling the cards a lot uh, pre-game and during the game, so you definitely don't want to you know, have really nice cards like this get worn out. As you notice, it has... On the back, see commands, task force, more commands, more task force, uh, stuff like that, and then combat cards, of course. So that's that's number one. I'm assuming number two is going to be the same. Uh, going to go with if I can open it. Ha ha! There's the tab. Maybe. I'm trying to be gentle, but these things kind of can be annoying. So, yeah, this is just more of the same. I really like I really like all the artwork, um, especially if you're a big sci-fi space, you know, fan with all the ships and. Just the artwork, the colors are really rich. Um, it definitely doesn't look bland. It definitely looks like they took their time. Um, it doesn't look like they, you know, uh, I guess it doesn't look cheap. It looks high quality, high, high quality production on this. Similar with like the game mat being high quality, even though it is cloth, it's definitely felt very, very durable. Um, you know, this is one of those where I actually kind of wish they'd put out an art book for it. Uh, but as you can see, you've got your different stuff here. Again, more task force. 
but on to what everybody really wants, which is the ships. So luckily they, they did something really cool here too. Instead of having you have to cut them all open and tear a bunch of bags open, or just giving you a bunch of baggies, look at this, they're already in baggies for you. How nice is that? Thank you, PSC Games, because that's awesome. You get all your bases and everything in your separate baggies, and then your ships are also in baggies. So, as you can see, which I'm going to open these up and show you guys in a second, but... And then I'm assuming these are your capital ships, because there's only one of each. But see... I don't have to sit here and try to cut them all off sprues. I don't have to, uh, you know, sort them out from a big bag full of them or a box full of them. They're already separated for us and put in bags. And they're, the detail's pretty good on them. Um, I mean, for a game that comes with 92 ships at the price point it's at, yeah, these could look pretty good. They at least, the nice thing is, is not only are they just red and green, which definitely gives you that you know, you know who's is who, but if you'll notice, they still went far enough to actually give you a different look for each one. So that way it's not it's not just red and green of the exact same ships. Now I'm gonna show you how they go on the bases. First off, you get a couple of bases. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, that's the right size base. And here is a ton of these. Now the nice thing about these is they do feel pretty good. I mean, these feel pretty durable. They're a little bit flexible, so luckily they shouldn't like snap real easy. Just your basic black rod stand. Um, and what's cool is they're hex shaped on the bottom, so you know which side they go in, like that. Um, I might honestly glue mine just because if I can get them all in the box, that is a lot of prep every time I play if I want to take these apart and put them together. But as you can see, that's what one looks like on the base. Now what I'm probably going to do is if I've got time, I'm going to set up some of these. Maybe get a few, maybe get like 10, 20 ships put together and show you guys what they look like at the end of the uh, video. Um, so check that out if you want to stay to the end. But yeah, that's, I'm going to open these up first. Here's your fighter squadrons. So I'm going to try to make it quick, because I know, but like here you get these fighter squadrons, they're definitely uh, little, <laughs> um, you know, and that's that's kind of what they look like for the green team. Then, real quick, I'm going to put one on the base for you. So I'm assuming it's the little ones, which would make sense. And there you go, there's one on a base. And then here's the red to faction. I'm not sure which faction's which yet. I don't know if it actually, I mean, I'm sure it does matter, but um, here is the red faction's ships, or little fighters. They look pretty neat. And I like the fact that they definitely look different, very, very different from each other. Um, you're definitely not gonna mistake one for the other or that they're just copies with a different color of, of plastic. Um, so, but moving on, like I said, don't wanna spend all day on this. So here is, I guess the medium ships. I'm just going to kind of pull them out, show them to you real quick. For the red faction, medium, I guess large, <laughs> extra large, really big ships. And then this one's, I guess, the capital ship, which actually looks smaller than the uh, large destroyer dread <gasps> dreadnought size ships. And then for green. We've got that one. This one. And these. 
So, definitely got some cool ships there. While I kind of move this out of the way so we can look at the next stuff. Uh, I'll have my cameraman keep panning around looking at the ships. Um, I really, really like the way these uh, look on the stands. Definitely. Well, that's going to be it for the main box. Let me go ahead and uh, scoop all these off here. And now, the next thing is going to be, this is kind of neat. This is actually from the Kickstarter. So these are all extra expansion stuff. So um, if I'm not mistaken, the ships are the same ones. It's just more of them. So um, I'd show you this, but I mean, it's just more stands. So, and it'll probably all fit in the big box because there's plenty of room in that box. So you can kind of combine all this. You don't have to carry on as much stuff. Yeah, these are just so that you know. These are definitely they're from the Kickstarter, but they're they're just more of the same thing, which is great. I mean, hey, more is always fun. You can make bigger battles, but they're definitely not different. Uh, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on those just because I've just showed them to you. But you do get some more of these tokens. Uh, again, not really. I think they represent the fleets and stuff. I'm not sure exactly yet, but I'm guessing they do because it says fighter, destroyer, cruiser, and battleship. But what's really neat, what's to me the big one for the Kickstarter expansion, and I know it's for some people it's not, but for me it's cool, is they give you a complete extra set of dice, calling them the Admiral dice. They're the same dice, but they're silver. So again, they feel the same, they roll similar. They are just, you know, they're still the etched to where you to where it's not going to wear off, but they are silver. Uh, not much else to be said about them other than, now ah, they look cool and they're different. So one one player can have one color, one player can have the other color. Uh, other than that, I mean, you know, they are dice. The dice are always cool. Now on to the first uh, uh, expansion. We have... The, uh, this one is the Meteor Storm Escalation Pack. So let me get this sucker open. Let me see. Oh, yep, it is a baggie. Okay, so don't need my trusty knife right now. At least I hope not. So this one here comes with a couple of regular old six-sided dice. So your basic, you know, plastic red six-sided dice, nothing fancy there. It comes with the rules for the meteor storm. I'm assuming those are meteor storms since these all say shower on them. I'm assuming that means storm. See? Uh, so it comes with basically what looks like uh, event effects for the game that can, that can definitely mess with you, change things up a bit, add some variation to it. Um, so as you see here, you've got Storm 1, Storm 3, or Storm 2, Storm 3, Storm 1. Uh, and on the other side, it doesn't show anything, so I don't know if, uh, I'm assuming these might be like hidden, and then if you hit one, you flip it over to find out how powerful it is. Um, but since I have not had a chance to play yet, I don't know. I'm just, uh, kind of guessing here. So, but I noticed that... No matter which one they are, all of them have a different side that's exactly the same. Okay, so that's it for the Storm Escalation Pack. Then we've got the uh, Space Rift Escalation Pack. So again, I'm really interested in seeing how these affect the game, but I don't know yet exactly what they do. So this one comes with three six-sided dice. 
So again, three basic red six-sided dice. Uh, ooh, this one actually has multiple pages for the Rift expansion. So... And it looks like you have uh, different ways of setting it up. That's it. It was the Commonwealth and the Confederation. And then this one doesn't have quite as many terrain pieces, but looks like you'll have, don't have a, I'll be honest, don't have a clue what the rifts do. Uh, maybe they're like special movement or barriers. Um, but yeah, again, not a whole lot in these expansions, but you know, they're, they're cool. They're, they came free as a Kickstarter exclusive. So, but on to more stuff. So, next, we're going to have the, we're going to go with the Vice Admiral Flagship Ex Escalation Pack. So, this one here, I know if you buy the game, you can actually buy this as a separate, all this stuff you can buy individually um, from them. But there's this, so let's take a look and see what's in it. get more tokens, we get information on the vessel, we get it looks like another scenario, and another scenario. So that's kind of cool, a couple extra scenarios. Um, and then, of course, now this one isn't as big of a, as an Escalation Pack as the one I'm getting right open, but it does come with what looks like another set of command ships. So we've already seen these command ships in the uh, first one in the main game. It also comes with some more fighters, of course, bases for all of them. Again, I'm not going to go into depth on putting them together because they're already, you've already seen them, same ships. Just more of a extra ships with some extra rules and stuff. And now our last but definitely not least expansion that I got with my uh, set from Kickstarter is the Logistics and Space Platform Escalation Pack. Now this one looks pretty neat because it actually adds um, additional starships and rules and terrain to your red, to your Red Alert games. So let's open this one up. So again, more tokens. More rules. Uh, looks like there's, I'm not sure what the space platforms are, but they definitely look like they add quite a bit. And they definitely look like they're for either side. I don't know if they're gonna be used on either side or if they're gonna be neutral and you fight over them, not sure yet. But it comes with Another big baggie of stuff. So, we've got a baggie with what looks like maybe a mercenary ship or cargo hauler. Um, uh, it's a transport. So it looks like it is a transport, uh, strike class, whatever that means. And then the other thing that I'm getting ready to show you is you get two of these in there. So they must be pretty hefty because you only get two in the whole expansion is the space platform. And they do have their own bases. Ooh, hey, let's slap this sucker on a base. I want to show it to you. So, interesting. 
not sure how to put it together yet. Oh, okay. So this one apparently has its own special... So this is actually only one for the space platform. So it goes... like this. As you can see. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, and to be honest guys, that is everything. You do get, and I'll show you real quick, you do get a lot of these transport ships. Um, so, and then you get one of those in there. Uh, and to be honest, I am totally ready to uh, break this down and start playing it. Um, but that's going to be it for this time, guys. Uh, check us out uh, again. Again, it's Infinity Flux Games. Always come by the store if you want to say hi or uh, just check us out online. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Go. As I promised, here is one figure of each type from the Red Alert set uh, set up uh, for you to take a look at.